Find the inverse Laplace transform of 2 over s to the 4th plus 3 over s to the 7th minus 4 over s to the 8th. Solution. So there is a formula that we'll use in this problem. The inverse Laplace transform of n factorial over s to the n plus 1. That's equal to t to the n. So in this case, we're first going to start by using the fact that the inverse Laplace transform is linear. So we can break this up as follows. This is 2 and then inverse Laplace of 1 over s to the 4th plus 3. And then we have the inverse Laplace of 1 over s to the 7th. And then minus 4 and then inverse Laplace of 1 over s to the 8th. And now we're carefully going to use this formula. So this is equal to 2. And, and now what we have to do, let me leave some room here. We have inverse Laplace of, here we have s to the 4th. Now if you look at the formula, you'll notice that whenever you have n plus 1 here, you have to have one less here. So if you have n plus 1 here, we have n here, and it's a factorial. So we have to have one less. So we have a 4 here, so we have to have one less. So 3 factorial. So you put it there, but then you fix it later. So to get rid of the 3 factorial, we multiply by 1 over 3 factorial. Same thing here, we have the plus, 3, and again, I'm going to leave some space here. We have the inverse Laplace. Here we have a 7, so we have to have one less. So 6 factorial, and then we have s to the 7th, and then we multiply by 1 over 6 factorial. And then minus 4, and then again I'll leave a space. We have the inverse Laplace. Here we have an 8, so 1 less would be 7, so 7 factorial. Big numbers. And here we have s to the 8th, and we have to multiply by 1 over 7 factorial. So let's keep going. This is 2. 1 over 3 factorial is 1 over 6. And in all of this, n is equal to 3, right? Because n is up here. So the answer is t to the n, so t cubed. That's the answer for that piece. Plus 3 times 1 over 6 factorial. And I believe 6 factorial is 720. Let me check really, really quick. Yep, it's 720. And then this piece here, the n is 6, so it's going to be t to the 6th. Minus, we have the 4. And 7 factorial is, should have done this problem beforehand, is 5,040. Okay, excellent. And in this piece here, the n is equal to 7. I really should make these videos, uh, rather do these problems before I make the video. So t to the 7th. Okay, so this is equal to 1 third. That part was easy, t cubed. And 3 over 720 simplified using the power of a calculator is 1 over 240, which you could do by hand, but uh, why take a chance? And then minus... We have the minus, and then we have to deal with this 4 over 5,040. So 4 over 5,040 is, um, well, my calculator is not working, so I guess we'll, we'll grind it out. 5,040 divided by 4 is 1260. So if you do 5,040 over 4, you get 1260. So 4 goes into 5,040 1,260 times. So this is 1 over... 1260 who made up these numbers I guess I guess I did and that's the final answer so I hope that helps I think the trickiest part is right here you know inserting these numbers so here we had 1 over s to the fourth but what you do is you write one less so 3 factorial and then you have to divide by it. Likewise here, there's a 7, so you write one less, so 6 factorial, and you divide by it. Here there's an 8, so you write one less, 7 factorial, then you divide by it. Then it ma everything matches the formula, and your n is what appears here. This is your n for each piece. The first piece was t cubed, the second piece was t to the 6th, and the last piece was t to the 7th. That's it.